Mr. Chia is the author of this book, The Night of Gen Mulan Dialect. And I am very happy that I get the chance to meet up with Mr. Chia today. And I'd like Mr. Chia to tell me a little bit about this book and how he, how he comes about writing it. Mr. Chia, can you tell me a little bit about your book, please? Okay. Um, I think many years ago, I was so uh, disappointed that young children do not know how to speak their own dialects. So yeah. especially the Hokkien people and the Teochew. But that doesn't apply to the Cantonese. The Cantonese still maintain their dialects. So why? Give me the reason why. You see, I go back to my old days when I was sending in the school. My grandfather was a Hanukkah. So I was going to English school. And uh, the time is I would have had quite a good job that goes to the English. So he wasn't happy, he uh, started to teach me Chinese. So it did not be helping me. <laughs> so, but he taught me Chinese was not Mandarin. It's a, it's a uh, fine character, but pronounced in Hokkien pronunciation. Just like you see today, the Cantonese still preserve that. They pronounce this Cantonese. But Hokkien people couldn't okay, pronounce anymore. Uh, After the Revolution was closed in uh, the early 80s. Because Singapore, we expect to uh, to publicize uh, Mandarin. Mandarin yes. So they uh, ban all dialects. Uh -huh. so, so if I speak more, I speak Mandarin, say less dialects. In fact, they are inviting all dialects mm -hmm. in Singapore. And then comes Johor. This is what they say. In Johor, anybody below 10 or below 50, so mm, that's true. So that is not true. Because in the old days, you still have to preserve your own dialect. And now you say go to Chinese school. And when you go to Chinese school, you come back, you don't know your own dialect. Yeah, that's correct. And which is your mother tongue. But in the newspaper, the Chinese society, you learn your mother tongue. They take Mandarin as mother tongue. Mm. Mandarin is not mother tongue. Correct. It's a political language elected in 1932 at the second general assembly of Sri Lankan government. And at that time, they had the same work with the Cantonese, but the work from the uh, then uh, temporary president, Feng Yisai, this was given to Beijing or Beijing at that time. And it comes a common dialect, not Mandarin of national language, but they call it the Tohua. It means common dialect, but everybody knows how to understand and speak among various uh, groups in China. So, today our Malaysian standard society, oh, that is your budget time. There is no sense. That's true. I agree with you, Mr. <laughs> Chia. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, after 1980, because with the, I mean, uh, losing down of revolution, then there was no more dialects uh, for us. And then, totally none, except in KL, the RTN, and the Cantonese. And then with the uh, popularity of the Hong Kong, uh, TV series, yes. then Cantonese become more popular than before. Mm -hmm. But in the 60s, midnight dialect was even popular, mm -hmm. more popular more than Cantonese. Do you may know we have a Hokkien movie, very popular in the late 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. Was that a Even, uh, there are more films produced in a year mm -hmm. than Cantonese or Mandarin. Okay. Because the black lilac is the most popular lilac in Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. in Philippines. 80% of the Chinese are Hokkien. Mm -hmm. Singapore, almost everybody. Mm -hmm. Malaysia, Vietnam, and even the northern region. Mm -hmm. Then uh, up to Phuket. Mm -hmm. like Indonesia, and Sumatra. Mm -hmm. Even in Rangoon, today they speak Hokkien. So, why suddenly nobody knows? Mm -hmm. So, I okay, was so disappointed. So, I said, okay. And a lot of people say, in Hokkien, you have, uh, actually there's one uh, politician in Taiwan with the surname Li, I don't know how to say it. He said, Ni Nai Hua, Yo Hua Mei Yo Tsi. He said, they can speak verbal, but no, no written form. No written form, uh, 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 so what? So I to show him that Ni Nai Hua has any words which is not used today. After Mandarin comes in. Mm -hmm. Because Minai Hua was the uh, official language of the Tang dynasties. Of course, 
now we use is the Pai Huan. Pai Huan is a more plain one that colloquial in the market. But in the old days, it is the official language. Just that now, if you only hear those type of language in the uh, program, or when uh, they are making official speeches. And uh, in the old days, in all clans, associations, they use that language. Because they don't use Mandarin. It was only after the 80s. So, why no words? I'll show you. Every words we speak, there is a Chinese character. How long does it take you to make this? I think I can't remember. This is as in the middle of the night, sometimes I think this is what she written. Ah. I wake up and I to bed. So, I combined the thing. So, I will not give it to anybody. So, I uh, have my uh, I copy. So, I print out. I give to my association. Uh, Changchu Association. Association. And happens comes to the kind of the chairman there. So why you have this thing? So you like it to be published. Oh, that's right. So again, okay, they're trying to get a Hokkien Association to do it. And this is a sponsor. Everything is paid for a published by a Hokkien Association. It's one of the, the first job that they do for something uh, called Hokkien Culture. That is wonderful, yeah. Okay. But this book is actually not completed. After this work, there are indeed another 40% of books that has been found. Mm. Also, we made a province. Mm. And this book I add in to the Donia uh, books. books. Oh, okay. Because in Pinet, in the old days, when uh, we came from uh, China, mm. the then China, when we call it Tongsai. So when they came here, I the first point of the people, not the people, from the Oscar Masiana. Mm -hmm. That's because it's a full jai on the time February, and everybody knows the time, so they speak the same dialect. So they brought this language to Penang. Since, if I come from the Jiaku family, since 1770, mm -hmm. this language has been in Penang. Mm -hmm. But I think Jia was a few years earlier, so say around the time, 200 over years. Mm. And why suddenly the everybody started to use Mandarin and the young the generation doesn't know about it. Mm. Huh. And now Chinese educated people, that's what I work mm. I'm still true. They are only one dialect. They do not know anything else. You see, and the English, I don't know what that you all know. The uh, Malays. So why? In you know, our days, old days, we speak urban English too. We speak our own dialects. If I'm a neighbor by Cantonese, I know Cantonese. Uh, yes. Even in the Hakka village in Bantula, there are some guys who know Hakka as well. Mm -hmm. And the Jojo, of course, is similar to the Hokkien. So we understand uh, each other. So why do people in the old days say from the movie stars or singers, as I always be there? Uh, Publicity, they say they can speak 100 languages, 100 dialects. Uh -huh. so, some people speak a lot, mm. many languages. Mm. When Malay, English, Mandarin, mm. Hakkai, Cantonese, it's the most five popular one. Mm. So, why today is all white dialects? Mm. And the old black parents have to learn to speak Mandarin to the children. Yes. And what type of Mandarin they are speaking, I do not understand myself, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I have a thought that I came down by bus one day. There's like a grandfather and grandmother bring a small child of about four or five years old. It's not how you speak the language. Me out by coin. So the Siapo la Siapo Jai in in Mandarin. It means something is going downwards, you know. No, 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 no. What's this? It's like taken from the Hokkien word, look, po. How about that look and then come say, po? It's not a Mandarin term at all, yeah. okay? Hey, but Jai Ku. So Jai Ku, I call Ma Ta Zuan. That's Ma Ta, but Ma Ta, but this man. But that's a Mandarin, it's only, but why can't they speak their own dialects to the children? Mm -hmm. So, and you make it worse. Ah, okay. okay, I'm a Taiwanese neighbor. She sent her children to school. Mm -hmm. And your dad, why do you send your children? My neighbors were asking her to use school. Yes, of course. I said, I will teach it myself. Mm -hmm. And I went to Chinese school. I uh, 
can't be like the imagination of those teachers who speak it. Uh. So, you know, they spend this time and when they go back to Taiwan, then they know that you understand that you are not them. So, in Mandarin, I can speak to them myself. Okay. So, I said I'm actually doing an uh, English school, not a Mandarin school. And a very funny thing is, one day I was at Kigama Supermarket. Okay, the two sales girl or promoter was speaking Mandarin. Then comes uh, two or three Chinese uh, people. I started to ask them something. They won't understand what they were saying. <laughs> they have to get someone to translate. Then you know what this man said? He said that the, 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 the Chinese national said,